Hi guys, welcome. Sunday night, live at five. Let's get going. Who's here with me tonight? Chop, chop girls. We have some fun stuff tonight and you don't want to miss it. So we're doing something that I haven't done in a while. Um, stenciling. So if you saw my earlier post, I want to say it was a few days ago. Um, we talked about making over this cart. Hey, Tiffany, how are you? I just saw that girl, you have snow. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful here in Fall Rock. I want to say, hey, Jeannie, we were in the 70s again. Don't be hating y'all, but it was warm here. It was beautiful. You can definitely tell that fall is in the air because it's kind of chilly in the mornings. I have a fan blowing right on me, so my hair's gonna be all doing all kinds of whoop de doos. Hey, Jai. Hi, Julie. Thanks for joining us. So, we're gonna, I feel like I'm really little. Let me stand up. It might be too much face for you guys, but, um, but anyway, yeah, we had a great day. We had a class today. So, I did a Paint 101 Plus class, and we had, hey, Carol, how are you? Hey, Tamala. We had six students. And we had a great time. We rolled through texture cream. We used the corduroy tool. We made weathered wood. We used stamps. We did molds. We, what else did we do? All kinds of fun stuff. We glazed. We made glazes. We made gray glaze and brown glaze. And it was kind of fun. So, but you know, it's hard. Sundays are, Sundays are busy days for me because I sing at church in the morning and then I have a class. So I talk for three hours and I have like an hour and a half break where I just hope that nobody comes in so I can like, whew, like calm down. Um, but anyway, it's all good. Hi, Diane. Hey, Catherine. Hi, Mary. Hey, Miriam. Okay, all the girls are here. Let's get going. So if you saw my earlier post this week, um, I posted, I had this kitchen cart that somebody had um, given me. Hi, Mia. Actually, I think we traded. I think I traded a haircut for this cart. Um, I typically don't like to take free stuff because I, I feel kind of bad. So I always think, you know, if there's an exchange that can happen somewhere, I'm happy, they're happy, and it's all good. Hi, Karen, thanks for joining us. So I got this kitchen cart and it was um, just solid color kind of pine and it was kind of chewed up, but hey, Deanna, I'm so glad you made it. I just felt like we needed something. When we do stay and make projects, we're schlepping bins of stamps and molds and paints. And I just think it's really, really hard and it gets heavy. So, brainstorm idea. I thought let's use this kitchen cart and we'll just kind of make it, you know, kind of cutesy. And then we can store all our stuff here. And then when we have stay make projects, we can just roll out the cart. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, Vanessa. So, here's our cart. Let me move it back here. And we painted it. I figured you guys don't want to watch me paint. Uh, we did paint it and then last night I just threw, I was gonna glaze it live, but I just thought it might not be dry in time for the next step. So I went ahead and I used black glaze on there. Um, American Paint Company Black Glaze. Um, I don't think I have it on the website, but I have it available if you want it. Just let me know. And you can see, I just did a really, really light coat of black glaze. I didn't want to darken it up too much because there's more stuff because you know more is more. Um, we're going to do more stuff on there. So I painted it out in Dixie Bell's Pure Ocean. So this is the color that it started with and you can see it here like in the drawer front. It's a little bit brighter than it is here. So I haven't glazed this yet. I probably will but you guys this is way too plain for me because you know more is more right. So either the handle is going to be changed or we're going to put probably a mold on there. More than likely that will be it. And I'm thinking about either stamping this or doing a tra another transfer on this. Um, so we'll see. You know, let me turn my sound down just in case somebody tries to call me. Okay. Um, so, but I thought we'll finish this probably in two parts. So this is the cart. It's totally functional. It's got a nice little handle here. Uh, this probably I'll pull out, but it has a little spot to put little doodads in there. And it has a nice drawer. It's got a little shelf that I actually did glaze this. So if you saw my previous picture, I did a coat of red underneath. I used the honky tonk red. Hey Sharon, 
Dixie Belle Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk Red. Boy, that's hard to say. And the Pure Ocean. So these are the two colors that I used in this project. I did put black glaze over this, so you can see that it has a little bit of an aged look. It's not completely shabby down all the way, but I wanted just a little bit of the red showing through because I want it to be just a tad bit spicy. So we're gonna stick that back down there. So this is our cart, and I think we're gonna do some stenciling on it. I have not done stencil in eons. How many, how many of you guys are like stencilers from like back in the day, like 20 years ago? I took extensive stenciling classes and um, stenciling was like all the rage and it kind of went away for a while and it came back. So I found this really cool stencil um, and I have the info if anybody wants to know. Actually, I got it on Amazon. It came from Studio R12. Here's the little flyer and I pulled it out of the box because I thought somebody's going to want to know what the stencil is and I wanted to be able to tell you. So it says, I have found the one who my soul loves. And I just love that. So it's my first time using this particular stencil. And um, it's been a long time since I've stenciled. So Jai says she's self-taught from eons ago. Me too. Well, actually I started self-taught. I didn't do so good. Definitely better with classes. So hey, Tracy. So I really, really love this. This really spoke to me. I hadn't used it yet. I've had it for a while. I've got a stencil stash that is probably hundreds and hundreds of dollars in stencils. So all that to say, we're gonna do this tonight and then we're gonna add some transfers and I thought that would be kind of fun. So we're gonna be using this stencil and the redo transfer, which is all these gorgeous roses. And now you see why I put the red underneath because I want to be able to pull some of that red and kind of tie it all in. And I might use a different transfer on the front. I might do stamps. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll know by next week, by Sunday. Hey, Nancy, how are you, sweetie? Girl, I miss you so much. Okay, so we're going to do this stencil. Um, sometimes I put stencil adhesive down, and sometimes I don't. Uh, my paint is kind of fresh and I really didn't want to take the chance of pulling up the paint. So I'm not going to put stencil adhesives. I'm just going to use my blue tape and I'm just going to tape it down and I think that'll be just fine. And we're going to pop this right here in this corner. And so your larger stencils will have registration marks. Hi, sweetie. My man is watching. Don't forget to pick me up about 6.15. We drove together. Hey, Elaine, how are you? Yeah, it's been forever, you guys, since I've stenciled anything. So, I don't really remember it being that hard. I think about the worst thing you can do for stencil is get too much paint. I am gonna put a little extra tape, though, since I am not using a stencil adhesive. Now there are times when I do stenciling with texture cream and I will sometimes spray a little bit of adhesive just because I don't want any of that stencil cream um, texture medium typically leaking underneath it. So let me put one on the side here and then we're gonna move it right along. So let me see. Come on you booger, get out of there. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Okay, so who else has got snow? I know Tiffany has snow. I tell you what, I love the snow for like a weekend and then I'm over it. And I certainly don't want to drive in the snow. You know, since I left New York, oh my gosh, like, I want to say, let me think, 1980 was when I left New York to come to California. I don't think I can do snow anymore. I think I'm such a wimp. I don't think I could handle it. I think I got it pretty level. If it's not, we're gonna have so much other stuff around it. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, Karen's in Florida, 90 degrees. Oh gosh, I hope you're okay with all the hurricanes and stuff. Okay, we are using, you guys, some of this stuff was so old, it was all like all dried up. But I did, I did find some. Cheryl, you're in California too? I know, Miriam, you just got back from Hawaii. Girl, I was so jelly, but it looked like you had a fabulous time. 
Tiffany, Tiffany's hoping for a white Christmas and then it can leave. How funny. Okay, so we're gonna use just a little bit. I'm using this. Actually, this is one of the least expensive brands that you can buy. This is Apple Barrel Colors and it's just black. That's it. So the trick with stenciling is less is more, okay? You can always add. You can always add another layer of color. I think the problem that most people have with stenciling is that they use too much paint. So you want to offload most of your paint so much so that it almost seems like you took all the paint off, but you don't, I promise. Let me see if I can get you guys down a little bit. Whoops, sorry, slip of the hand there. Bobby's got snow in North Dakota. Nancy's got a grandson. Oh, that baby is so cute. Okay, can you guys see that okay? So you wanna dip your brush in there and just because you're using a smaller stencil doesn't mean you have to use a tiny brush because stencil brushes come in all different sizes. So here's another size. It's tiny, but I'm actually using the bigger one. All right, so you get it in there, you mush it around and then you offload most of this. So what I mean by offload is basically just that. You just take it off. So it looks like, why am I putting all that color on and then taking it all off? You see how much I'm taking off? But that's good. You really barely, barely want to use any color. And then you just swish it around. And it really is that easy, you guys. If you have not stenciled before, you've got to try it. It is not hard. The Biggest trick is just not to use too much product. Look how far this color is going. I mean, it is really going all the way across. I might not even need to reload until I get to the next line. And that ha that's how easy it is. So I'm just going in swirling motions. Some people stipple it and that works okay too. I don't like that, I just prefer this. But I would say try it on a scrap piece of board and see what works better for you. I'm all about the sample board, girl, because I would rather mess up on something that is not important. Now, if this were another stencil that had more than one color, I would probably do some shading. And I actually did find, when I was getting my stencils out, I did find a stencil that I did some shading on. I'll have to show you, it came out pretty. Um, so that's the first line. So, I think I'm kind of dry, although well, maybe not. Let's see, we're gonna just keep going. I do need a little bit more. Plus I have a fan going. Miriam, I can't wait to see your couch. It's gonna be awesome. So Miriam has come into the store a couple of times and bought all kinds of fabric, amazing patterns and colors and shapes and it is gonna be bomb diggity. I can't wait to see it. And this dries pretty quick, you guys. It does not take a long time to dry. And you can tell as the color starts fading that you need to reload. If you want it a little bit darker, you can go back over it. This would be, actually, this would be really pretty with um, silver metallic. That would be, that would be the bomb.com. That would be really pretty. Okay, so I'm putting it on and I'm pretty much taking most of it off. And then you just swirl. It moves pretty quickly. It doesn't take a long time. It looks like you've spent a lot of time on it, but you could probably have this whole thing done in 10 minutes. These are great for making signs. And this company has some great patterns as well. Let's get a little bit more. Offload. So when I'm offloading, you can see, I don't, doesn't look like I have very much on my brush. But you'd be surprised how much is still in there, kind of saturated. So, and again, that's the, the problem that most people have when they're stenciling is that they're using 
way too much paint. Way too much. get just a little bit more so I use like maybe about a teaspoon and offloaded most of it honestly I can't wait to see this I was really excited when I found this I bought it a while ago okay so who else buys stuff and then doesn't use it for like months later months later it almost kind of seems like a waste but on the other hand it's nice to have supplies ready when you're ready to do a project. I'm gonna darken this one up just a little because it looks like it's a little bit lighter. And this is just plain black. We might do another project with um, a more detailed stencil and maybe do some shading. If you guys wanna see um, shading, let me know because we can do something next time that's a little bit more advanced. I'll have to show you what I did. It came out kind of cool and it's old. I actually, it was a practice board that I did for uh, my daughter had an armoire and I want to say she was probably about 13 years old when she had this piece of furniture. And it was one of the first things that I had redone. Um, it was, oh my gosh, and she's 29, so she was 13 when I first stenciled on this. And I stenciled roses. Now this shows you what a pack rat I am. I still have the sample board. Okay, Maddie's asking what kind of paint. Maddie, I'm just using a really cheap apple barrel. It's like 97 cents at the craft store when it's not on sale. If you use your coupon, my gosh, it's dirt cheap. Okay, put it on there. You're offloading most of it. And this should be the last one. And I probably need to do that bottom line. I'll probably need to reload a little bit. So this stayed on pretty good. So here's the deal with stencils. There's expensive stencils and there's cheap stencils. The difference is the cheap ones, as you try to stencil over that, sometimes they peel up. They'll get, they just get wonky. So spend an extra couple of dollars. And you wanna get something that's a little bit thicker because it's better for texture medium. If you wanna push some texture medium through it, it's definitely better to have the thicker ones. And even if you're stenciling, I mean, unless it's like a one-time use and you don't really care, try to stay away from the ones that are very, very thin mylar. Okay, I'm just gonna go over this area because it looks a little bit lighter. And then we're gonna do this here. And it's okay, I don't mind if some area is darker and some is lighter. Because I might actually go back in and distress it a little bit anyway. If you're doing a large stencil, they typically have registration marks. And the reason that is is so that your pattern lines up. So you want to be mindful of that. If you're doing a big stencil, look for your registration marks and make sure you mark them either with like a little pencil or just so that you can line up your pattern. A couple of these I'm gonna go over again because they look a little light. Because we went over the blue. So you see, if you think it's too light and you want a little darker, you can always go over it again. Hey, Debbie. Okay, I think we're ready for the reveal. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's dark enough. I don't know that I want it much darker. Maybe a little bit here. You know, 
it, when it's going over chalk type paint, it really does suck it up. But I think it makes a great surface for stenciling. I just lifted that up. Okay. Ready? Let's do it, girls. It's backwards to you. Tamil is asking, do we have a stencil for diamond shapes and leopard? Um, there is one for leopard. I do have a diamond one. It's, let me show you. It's a 12 by 12 pattern. So this is the, di the Harlequin diamonds. Is that the ones that you met? I don't have a leopard one, but we do have this diamond one. And I wanna say, I've got three of them. So it's 12 by 12. What do you think, you guys, you like it? So this is super easy. So when I get done with this, I'll just rinse it off in the sink and it's ready to go for the next time. So we're gonna let that dry just a quick minute and then we're gonna play around. I really like how it came out. You see how easy that was? So it says, I have found the one whom my soul loves. And it's actually from Song of Solomon. And it's gonna look really cute. And this is gonna be our cart that we kind of roll around our stain make projects. So I've cut these up. I don't really know what pattern I'm putting them in. I just know that I didn't wanna use all of them. And I know that, um, I know that I don't know where they're going, but I know they're going on here. So let's play around with these. And I might need to grab a scissor. Okay, so typically you wanna keep these together until you use them. And I don't know that I'm gonna use this big thick one. I haven't decided. So maybe you guys can help me with placement. I know it's backwards, babe. So, what about this one here? And this one is kind of airy on the end, and I like that. So maybe this one here, because I like how it's really kind of thin. And we can kind of put it so that it's kind of close to the letter. So what's nice about these is if you really want it to be particular, you can cut these out. If I wanted to add extra flowers or extra roses on these stems, I certainly could. I just, um, I just don't want to take the time to do that right now. Again, this is just going to be a shop cart. And I think, I think, I think... It might look good with this maybe right here or let's see I don't want to overkill on the roses and this one I think might be too much this one has got a big big cluster and that might be too heavy or do we like it do we like the heavy cluster okay give me hearts if you like the heavy cluster give me thumbs thumbs up if you like the lighter cluster Okay, go. Hearts for the big cluster, thumbs up for the little cluster. Okay, we got one heart, one thumbs up. I know this is not gonna be easy. Oh, we got more thumbs up. Okay, we'll do the lighter one. Let's put this one on first and then we'll play around with the placement. So every one of your transfers comes with this little stick. Yeah, I think I like the lighter cluster too. So let's put this one on first. And so you don't want to take the backing off until you're ready to apply it. And I kind of like the placement where it's at. I kind of like how it's going off to the side as opposed to straight. Because then, then we can add this maybe here. And you know you can layer these. So that's kind of cool. Or maybe we can put it down this way. 
Let's see here, do we want it straight? Do we want it straight, girls, or do we want it off to the side? You like it off to the side? I think so too. Maybe kind of like this. And then this one can kind of peek out like that. That looks good. All right, let's try that. You know what, if we don't like it, we'll sand it off, we'll do it again. No big deal. Yeah, I like that. So it takes up a lot of that space right there. All right, so you remove the two pieces. I think right about there is gonna be good. going to town. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. If I don't see them live, I will go back in and read all your comments. You guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. You've seen me do these before. These have a very slight tack to them, so they, they kind of adhere on their own. So it really doesn't take much pressure to get them off the sheet. And these are great because you can cut them up. So again, if I wanted to spend time and really be like anal about this, which I typically am, I just, um, you know, when I do classes on Sundays, I don't have a lot of time afterwards to prepare. So a lot of the times, you guys, I have a general idea, but I just kind of wing it, really, to be honest with you. You know, if it looks good, great. If not, we'll do it again. No big whoop. So what's nice about this is that you can tell as it starts lifting up, you can tell because there's an opacity to the paper that you can see. You might not be able to see it on film, but you can see how it's just, I'm peeling it away. Let me see if I can get you guys closer. And it's, it's transferring. Hey, Connie. And if it doesn't transfer, it's still sticking to this. You know what? Just lay it back down and push it again. So we have one more week until the IOD sisters come here for a class. You guys, it's their last class to the public ever, ever. They're only going to be doing stockist trainings from now on. So if you're close to the San Diego area, you definitely want to make it. That's October, Saturday, October 27th, from 10 to 2. So you can call the store, reserve your spot. We would love to have you. It's gonna be kind of a smaller class, which is nice. So we'll have a lot of Q&A time with them and you'll get to meet them. And we're excited to host them. They're gonna be here um, a little bit earlier and we're gonna be doing the stockist training here in the studio. So we're expecting about 20 stockists um, from all over the United, the United States to be here. And there's one gal, gosh, I forgot her name. She's coming from Canada. So I'm looking forward to meeting her too. You guys are gonna have a great time. And they're bringing some of the new products so you guys that have ordered pre-ordered molds, there was a delay in the molds, as some of you know. The cherub mold is coming in October. The others are coming in December. They had a couple of glitches and they were just so um, wanting them to be perfect that, that, you know what, if they weren't right, they just didn't accept it and they sent it back. So a couple of things needed to be revamped, but I think it's gonna be to our benefit. However, the new releases, as they post them, they're not posting them as early now because you guys, it's such a tease. The one does look pretty. I'm using this particular one 
Uh, it was kind of one of the best sellers along with the wildflowers, so I really was reluctant to use it. I wanted to save it for you guys when you order them on the website that they'll be available. We're adding new things to the website daily. Our Dixie Belle paint is on there now. Our texture mediums, we have new foil colors on there. Um, there's just a few things that are not, but you guys can always um, message me and I'd be happy to get them to you. So this one is almost done. And we'll just do the other one zip be quick it doesn't take that long but I feel like it takes forever because I'm not talking so I'm probably missing some comments you guys what I love about these actually all the products the distressing is built in so it does not it is not a perfect picture and I love that I love that it's slightly distressed I love that it allows some of the color to come through. So you can see if there's any little pieces that are still sticking, like right here, can you see that? I just lay it down until it gets stuck on there. Now you do need to seal this afterwards. I'll probably seal it with the Dixie Belle Gator Hide because I want it to be a super durable surface. Again, we're gonna be using this in the studio as a cart when people come in to do, um, oh, look how beautiful. I love the red against the turquoise. All right, let's do, let's see. How about if we do this one? And I think we should cut these leaves off. Let me go grab a scissor. We can always add the leaves somewhere else. I say, let's cut that off. And maybe we can use that somewhere else. Maybe down here. I don't know, we'll see. This is the kind of thing that I love about this because it's totally customizable and you can mix and match. I kind of wanted to make it look like it's coming from here. Maybe I should have left a little bit more of that on there. I can always add it. I like that. What do you guys think of that? I like how it kind of comes right between the leaves. And I might add a little more of that stem. Does that look like a good place? I think so. Let's do it. I probably cut that stem a little too short, but I'm gonna go ahead and either add a leaf or I still have a piece of stem I can add to it. I always like elements to kind of cross over each other. So I like how the leaves are just kind of ever so slightly um, kind of interrupting in the phrase. It just looks a little bit more organic and natural that way to me and not so staged. And I love the contrast. So Wednesday before our IOD class, um, Jamie and Zev from Jamie Ray Vintage will be here doing a paint blending class. And I have it pinned to the top of my page. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I wanted to let you guys know, and we do actually have some people coming into town from that. They have a very big um, YouTube following. 
so we're excited to host her as well that's going to be on the 24th it's an evening class from six to nine and you get a free paintbrush and you also get a chance to win the painted piece of furniture that she's going to be doing she's doing a paint blending technique You guys, there are stencils with roses and all kinds of things, but if you can use these transfers and get such a beautiful finish, it just makes your life so much easier. Not that I'm not about doing it the hard way, but sometimes it's nice just to kind of do something that's not going to take as much time, effort, or um, materials. Because to get all these shadings, like you're really, you're looking at probably easily eight or 10 colors. If you were to stencil all this, I'll have to show you the stencil that I did. It came out really pretty. I'm gonna go on this side. So we're going to give this a really good top coat, probably about three or four coats of the Dixieville Gator Hide and make it super, super durable so that we can move boxes and paint supplies on top of it and not mess up the beautiful finish. So I'm actually taking that flower and I'm going over the edge a little bit. I think that's going to look really cool. So you can see, if I pick it up and it's picking up some of the transfer, I just lay it back down and do it again. And it pretty much will go right back into place. can't see your comments guys I'll make sure to go back in and answer any questions but I think you guys have got this I could see this going up a dresser wouldn't that be beautiful like going up a tall dresser it's a big chunk that didn't come let's get that back down there Okay, Nancy, I know I missed a bunch of questions. Um, Nancy's asking, is the transfer over crackled paint? No, Nancy, the transfer is just over. We used the Dixie Belle Pure Ocean. Underneath was a layer of Honky Tonk Red, and I just did a black glaze on there. Um, you can find all these products on my website if you're interested, www.vintageretailtherapy.com. They're all there. If there's something that I used, I don't think the black glaze is there, but if it's something that you need, just go ahead and text um, text me or just send me a message. Okay, so I think we need a little something right down here. And we decided that we were gonna do the lighter flowers. I think I'm gonna connect either this with a leaf or that little piece of stem. Let's see. I cut my stem just a pinch too short, you guys. But I think it'll be okay. I can attach it or I can put a leaf, but I'm gonna do that later. Can you transfer over crackle? Absolutely, absolutely you can transfer over crackle. You can transfer on rough wood. You can transfer on door. I don't know if you can see my door over there. Let me see, move you over. You see my the back of my shop door right here? That's a transfer. Um, and it's not a smooth texture. That's an, that's an amazing transfer, by the way. In fact, they're discontinuing it, the Be, Be Thy Vision. Um, they're, the 11 by 14 is gonna be no longer, but they're doing a set 
uh, and I can't tell you anymore. Otherwise, they'll kill me. I'm sworn to secrecy as the stock is, but you're gonna love it. But that little one, I do have a bunch left, but they're gonna stop making that one. Vanessa's doing shutters. Yes, the shutters are really cool. I just saw somebody do shutters. Um, I wanna say it was these and the wildflowers over the shutters. All right. I think, I think, let's see. Give me a minute while I think about this. Do we want it going down this way? And cut those off? Or, actually that's kind of pretty right there. How's that look? which means we won't use a lot of this, which is okay. I think maybe it should go up just a little bit right here. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Do you like it there? I think so, too. All right, let's do it. And then this, we're just going to cut this off. somewhere else either on another project or I might add some more leaves in here where I cut that too short I probably will add some leaves and I'm gonna extend this just a little bit down here and let's do it and then see what we got What I love about these transfers is that you could totally layer these. So you can see I'm going right here in this corner, I'm going leaf over leaf. So the margins on these are so thin that you can layer them and they're beautiful layered. We have a transfer that's got um, just writing on it. It's called uh, Rosa Plumeria or Rosa I think it's Rosa Plumeria, something similar. And it's just words. And that transfer layered with the flowers, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Really, really pretty. Amaze balls. Okay, so. What a great way to customize a piece of furniture. And the beauty of it is, is that you can layer them. And you can even mix the styles. Like I'm contemplating adding either a stamp, which I think would be really cute, but I'm thinking about adding a bohemian border on the side. I'll show you where. You guys can tell me what you think. Just to mix it up, just so that it doesn't look so predictable. So you see how this kind of went right over this one here? Let's see if I can get it a little closer. These two kind of just overlapped each other and it's beautiful. And it kind of hid the end of my stem. And I love that. So if it's not coming up, just lay it down. Do it again. I love the built-in distressing because even if you miss a piece, it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Guys, if I miss your questions, I'll go back in and answer them. For those of you who are tuning in later that I didn't get to say hi to, we've painted this in Dixie Bell Pure Ocean. Underneath has a layer of Honky Tonk Red, which you can see in some of the distressing on the edges. Vanessa says, how long before sealing? Vanessa, you can seal these right away. I probably will do it tomorrow, but you can, you can seal them right away. Once they're on there, they're on there. I mean, if you want it to be safe, you can wait a day. 
But you know us artists, we always push the edge of the envelope and it usually comes out okay. You know what they say, if all else fails, redirections, right? I probably will add some leaves. I might go back in with a stamp and maybe add a dragonfly or maybe a bird someplace or maybe even a heart right here. I think that would be super cool. I love to mix the elements. So we had a piece of furniture and I did it live. It was the little white table with birds, branches, and blossoms. It had the stamp, it had a transfer, and it had the molds. And it had all three elements. And it was great because when people came in the shop, we were able to show them the stamps, the transfers, and the molds all on one piece of furniture. And it's just a great example to have because people are just amazed what these products can do. But it's sold, so now we need kind of another sample that's gonna stick around. So I'm thinking this piece is going to be that. So it's gonna have molds somewhere. It has this transfer, and somewhere in there it's gonna have some stamps. So we'll finish it up next week after I figure out what we're gonna to do to it. And, um, and then we'll top coat it, and then we can use it. And I'm just slightly, you see how you can bend this and go over the edges? Holly says she needs some of those for her nesting tables. Holly, they're awesome. And you gotta see, I almost did the wildflower. So this is the wildflower one. This was the top seller. You guys, we could not keep this one in stock. Look at all the different flowers in there. And they're, they're gorgeous. This one sold out. In fact, some of the stockists didn't even get some because they sold out. They didn't order as many as they thought they would need and um, they were sold out. So, and this one was a big seller as well and that's why I was reluctant to use it until I knew I had enough. So I love how it's going over the edge. I don't know if you can see that. What do you think, guys? Can you see? I love it. I love it. I am going to add probably, I don't know, maybe some leaves. I might connect, maybe put a leaf right in there. In fact, I could probably do that now. Add some leaves right in there just to, to bridge this gap right here. And I might leave this open for a heart or some leaves down here would work. Actually, that's pretty kind of pretty right down there, isn't it? I like that. Let's cut this piece out. I know I keep saying we'll be done, but more is more. Okay. Morning, they're already colored and they come in amazing patterns and shapes. And I don't want that stem. I kind of want just the leaves. And I think I kind of want it just that right there. So you guys, I'm not gonna press on this stem. I could cut it out, but I think I'm just gonna leave it right there. Again, the margins are so thin that you can totally layer these leaves over leaves, flowers over flowers. This is really going underneath it, but I think it's going to be okay.
I know I'm missing a lot of comments, you guys. My head is down, but I promise I'll go back in. And then we'll recap. How's that? Love it. Yes, Marnie, you can order from me. We have them on our website. It's www.vintageretailtherapy.com. Sorry, guys, I'm getting like a major hot flush. So that's the website. If you go to the top, there's three bars on the right-hand side, and it says shop. If you press those three bars, there should be a drop-down menu that you can do either stamps. It'll say stamps, transfers, um, stamps, transfers, Dixie Bell paint, artistic painting studio, tools. The brayers are in. If you guys are looking for brayers, the brayers came in. I love that. I think we should... I don't know I'm kind of feeling we need to do something there so maybe I can just I probably should really think about this but even just that one leaf right there looks like it'll fit just to cover that dead space right there Let's do it. Yeah, that stem was kind of it's kind of bugging on it. That's better. I might do a little more. Maybe take this piece right here off. I can sand that off. Actually, it's not down all the way. Okay, there you have it. Maybe another leap. Maybe down here. Maybe up here. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. I don't want to do something just... Um, just to do it. I want to really be a little bit more mindful. I might even throw another flower right here because I've got, you guys, I have all these leaves left. I have all these flowers left so I can cut them out and add them wherever I want or I could put in a stamp like a dragonfly stamp. That would be bomb diggity. Look at that. So there we are. There's the project for tonight. Hey, Andrea, you did, you did catch me live. Good job, girl. We're kind of at the tail end, so you have to go back and catch the replay. Um, but anyway, that's it in a nutshell. So if you're just tuning in and you missed it, we painted the base Honky Tonk Red Dixie Bell. On top, Dixie Bell Pure Ocean. Uh, Marnie's asking the pattern. That, let me show you. This is called the Redo Transfer. And this is what it looks like on the website. Dragonfly, I think Debbie, I think you're right. I think Dragonfly is gonna be bomb. So it comes in four really, really big flowers like this and you can cut them up to whatever size you want. So the size of this is 24 by 33, super big. You can put it on your door. You can cut them up and put them up drawer fronts. Um, you can do a sign. Um, it's really cool. So we used a stencil. It was this stencil afterwards. We did a glaze, black glaze on top. The stencil came from Studio R. I wanna say, you guys, this wasn't very expensive. It was about less than 20 bucks for the stencil, and it's a fairly good size. Um, and it's by, I got it on Amazon from Studio R12 is the name um, of the stencil. And let's see, what else did we do? Apple Barrel Cheap Craft Paint. For the stencil, I used a thick stencil brush, probably a half inch stencil brush. This size, not the smaller size, 10 minutes. And the transfer, we will probably throw some glaze over it. Next week, we'll finish it out. So right here where this drawer is, is either going to be, what do you guys think of this? I know it's crazy, I know it's crazy, but not the whole thing. This is the Bohemian border. My thought is 
just to cut this top portion and add it right there. Can you see that? I think that would be really, really pretty. So just cut this and just add it right there on that drawer front. Add a mold or two. And then we still have these sides to zhuzh up here. So we're gonna do something there. And then we have this whole back piece because you know, more is more. So we'll do something there. I don't know what, and maybe we'll take that bohemian border and go all the way across. I don't know, who knows what we're gonna do. Elaine thinks that'll look great. I think so too, Elaine, because it's it's just kind of different. You know, it's kind of unexpected because um, this is all soft and sweet and flowery. And then we just, this bohemian border, I think would add just a little bit of edge, don't you think? I know the lettering is backward. I'm sorry, Chelsea. But it says, I have found the one whom my soul loves. And I just love that. That really spoke to me. So this is going to be our shop cart. So that's kind of what we did in a nutshell. And let me see, what our, what's our time? Have we been on an hour yet? Do the other boho stripes? That's a good idea. So I can do... So this is the bohemian transfer. And all the transfers come colored. This is absolutely fabulous. I did this on, actually it's the cover photo of my page and it sold and I was so sad when it went because I loved seeing it, it made me so happy. Um, I could turn the border upside down, Jai, that's a good idea. So this is the Bohemian transfer. All the transfers come colored. Wait until you see the new transfers. <gasps> amazing, amazing. Like you guys, like your head's gonna pop off with smoke because they're really, they're really kind of badass, I gotta say. So I'm thinking cut the Bohemian transfer, put it, cause it look, it kind of has the same colors um, and it'll change the vibe a little bit and kind of not make it so sweet. And I like Jai's idea of maybe adding one of these other elements, maybe the center one or the bottom one to the sides. I think that's gonna be a good idea. I think it's gonna be amazing. So, okay, you guys, so we'll finish this up next week. Um, let's see, I think, do we have one more week? We have one more week before the sisters come. If you're local to San Diego, they're coming October 27th for a hands-on class. Their last time doing a hands-on class open to the public. They're only gonna be doing stockist trainings from now on. Um, Jamie and Zeb from Jamie Ray Vintage are coming Wednesday the 24th. She's doing a paint blending class and you're gonna have a chance to win the, um, the piece of furniture that she's gonna be painting. So that's pretty cool. So all that to say, if you're local or if you're in driving distance, you wanna be here. Um, if you're not, you can order products online, the website, www.vintageretailtherapy.com. I'm heading to the post office tomorrow morning and I'm shipping out an order from uh, that just came in. So if you wanna get your order shipped out right away, if not, no big whoop. I usually go, as soon as I get them, I'm usually pretty good about shipping out because who wants to wait for their stuff? I'm like, when I order stuff, I want it yesterday. Who's with me on that one? Alice says you can't find the website. Alice, it's www.vintageretailtherapy.com. If you have a problem finding it, just um, I will send you a link through Messenger, um, but you should be able to get to it. Let me know if you need if you need help, okay? Jai says she's in flying distance. That works. And it's warm here. It's really warm. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna sign off for tonight. Um, Hubby should be hopefully on his way soon to come pick me up and go to dinner. I will post pictures of the jewelry cabinet. We have pretty much finished it. I added the knobs. Let me show you really quick. It's really cute, you guys. So, if you missed this, this was two weeks ago on our live, and this is the bling knobs that we added. Loving it. Um, so catch that on the replay. You can go back in to the video section and you can you can check out all the replays from the past ones. So last week, what did we do last week? I don't remember. I think we did foiling last week. The week before that, so two weeks ago, we finished up this jewelry cabinet with molds and we added the bling knobs. So you can check that too. If you guys have any questions or if I missed anything, just uh, pop your questions in at the bottom 
and I'll make sure to answer them. Okay. Have a blessed week, you guys. I will try and I'm trying to be better about popping in midweek. Hubby's trying to get me um, on YouTube, so I'll be doing smaller projects and little snippets on YouTube. When I don't know, but it's coming soon. Um, so stay tuned for that, and I will catch you next Sunday right here live at five. Ciao. Bye bye.